gods, no. Oh, what horror. What, what, what? Darling, you were dreaming. Dream or vision from the gods. What is it? I see our people dying. A great city falling. It haunts me. Every night it's the same. A terrible thing will become of our children's children. What? Death. What, 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 what do we do? There may be a way. In my visions by the gods, I have heard the name Mycene. I must destroy them. I must set into motion plans to expand our kingdom, to grow in strength, that we may strike and end them forever. But our people will never see such a terrible day. What's up, everybody? It's Solon. Welcome to our first ever video in the Bronze Age. Very excited to finally get around to playing this mod. I made that video probably like a month and a half ago, and I've just been really clamoring to jump in here and give this one a shot. So as you saw by the intro, and as you can see by this little decision thing that I'm doing down here, I'm going to try and capture the Mycenaean capital of, um, I'm guessing it's, what is their capital called? It's called Mycene. Uh, I'm just going to try and capture the capital of Mycene. My idea is that he, this guy's having visions, King Alipa, is having visions of the fall of the future city of Troy, which if we zoom in here to Willian, um, you can see right here the walls of Troy. Troy, also known as Willian, Ilian, and Willusa, is located on the shores by the narrow strait that connects the Mediterranean with the Black Sea, and the trade that flows in between is the source of Trojan power and wealth. Its riches are the envy of all its neighbors, and a high level of protection is necessary, which is naturally lacking due to its location on a plain. High walls manned by a fierce warrior will deter our many jealous adversaries. So we actually start off here with pretty pretty solid monthly income, and we have quite a few different troops. Mostly light skirmishers. I actually probably would get rid of a couple of those, just for the sake of having something a little different. We have siege ladders. I would probably say grab some... Um, Bowman, just to counter skirmishers. Let's just see what my city has. Obviously, I wouldn't know this. I'm just to start the gate, but they have light skirmishers, which can be countered by, you know, ar the archers. They have battering rams, and they have these boar tusk warriors, which are a heavy infantry. And these guys actually counter heavy infantry, so that works out well for us. So we're going to do Bowman as my additional. And we're just going to set that up to probably about a plus three. It kind of messes me up because they're the same picture, but that's fine. I'm going to set up the archers here because that makes the most sense to me. I'm going to set these guys up here and uh, these guys up here. Now, is there anything I can build to help us improve our taxes here early on? I think I'll probably wait a second, but station archer damage is plus 20%. That is really solid. Um, missing a little bit of gold. I'll probably just wait till we get some gold back. So the goal here uh, to start off before we even really, you know, get going over there is I need to make myself a bigger kingdom. I do have the kingdom title of Willian, which is technically a part of this high kingdom. I'm going to be securing the high kingdom um, because I'm already a king, so I don't really have to worry about doing anything else. Oh my god, my wife has definitely got a case of the Uggos, but that's fine. We don't. It doesn't matter. I don't remember her looking like that in the introduction. Whatever. It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> Um, so we are a diplomacy focus. Actually, what are my stats? He's just, he's patient, and he's humble. Well, I mean, we can't all be right. We can't, we can't all do, uh, he's got, okay, honestly, I'm going to make him a stewardship focused, and I'm going to do domain, um, because he's going to be focused on wealth. We can vassalize this guy. He'll go with low taxes. That works for me. I would rather not have to fight people. I will be your guardian to both of my children which is the smartest thing to do. He has a martial focused education, which honestly is probably good. She has a stewardship one, which is good because that's what I do. And yeah, I'm just gonna jump in here. Hopefully we have a good time here, a little good time here in the Bronze Age. I'm excited to see. We got some decisions, but not too many. We got to seek the aid of the spirits and we have select a personal deity. I'm definitely gonna be clicking those here in a moment, but um, I hope you guys like the idea for this video. I've, I've thought of it randomly. Thought it would be fun because somebody said to do Mycenae or Mycenae or Mycenae and attack Troy early. Um, I thought it'd be fun to flip the script and do it the other way. So we'll see how this goes here. So first of all, we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of alliances. We're also not endorsed by our shaman, so we'll work on getting that out of the way. We'll work on getting that out of the way real early here. How is my shaman? Is he okay? Eh, he's not great, but he has probably the best education. I like that education is this and this. It looks very cool. Descend. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, we have a few 
children that can be married. So what I probably do with my son here is try to find the strongest alliance. Do you have any genetic stats? Uh, no, but your dad is a godless heathen and he's lustful and he's got a pretty decent army. So I'm actually gonna do that one. Uh, that 1400 should help me out here. And then my daughter will look for her. See what sort of alliance we can get here. I do love the, I cannot move this over. There we go. I cannot. Yeah, let's just do this one. Since they're about the same age, that one's fine. A five acceptance is totally good. I don't care. I love the map when it's zoomed out. It looks so good. Decisions, let's determine our personal deity. It is not uncommon for Luians to single out one amongst the gods who suits their particular tastes and aims in life for special attention. I should contemplate these divine beings and decide which one calls to me the most. The gods are many and inscrutable, yet I cannot say that there are not some who hold a level of special appeal to me. Were I to dedicate myself openly to the express worship of a primary one such deity, I would doubtless draw like-minded souls to my side. Whatever the blessing my patron provides, being uh, with similar Luians can only bring me health, wealth, and glory. So we have Terez, who looks to be the stewardship, stewardship for level of devotion. This guy gives you Increased piety, prestige, and renown, which is pretty solid. I don't think we're technically, yeah, we're an urban kingdom. I don't, yeah, I don't think we're like, uh, I think we pay money for ours. Uh, small health boost. That doesn't, that always helps, um, especially in these, oh, I don't even know what I clicked. No, oh no, I totally whiffed that. Oh God. No, I picked the god, I picked heart, I picked goddess of fertility. Oh, that's a bummer. I did not mean to click. That is such a shame. Oh well. What are you going to do? All right, so we are vassalizing this guy. These guys are about to get vassalized. All right, so they're now my allies. This guy's accepted my betrothal. They've accepted my unification. This guy now wants to see it on the council, which honestly makes sense, but he's really bad at like everything. Oh my God, he's really bad at everything. I don't have anybody who's even remotely like, okay, I can't really risk him hating me. I guess I'll have her work on court politics. I'll have you work on this. God, you are not good. Let's see, offer vassalage. His realm is distant from mine. What? Dog, they touch. They literally, there you go. You're not tribal, that's true. His base reluctance, I'm not his rightful liege, which looks to be this kingdom title. Oh, it's a tiny one, little tiny baby one. We're just gonna increase our speed. We'll sit here for a minute. We'll just do a little sit. Um, we got about six gold coming in per turn. I'll let my troops develop here. Spirits inhabit the world all around us. Some help, some malevolent, and some indifferent to human lives. I can ask my priest to call upon them to aid me in my endeavors, but there is no telling what the outcome will be. Let's see what they do. My priest brings me to a peaceful glade near a small stream, the steady trickle of water over the rocks, creating a relaxing ambiance. The spirits like it here, Alupa, or Alipa. This is the best place for us to petition for their aid. Uh, I'll give them a small one, a small libation of grain. Oh, spirits, hear me. I call upon you to grant your aid to this petitioner. He begins moving faster, dancing. He's dancing. I've gotten the water spirit's blessing, which increased my fertility and stewardship. This man is literally going to have a billion kids. He has two steward... He has plus 35% fertility now. I wonder if I could befriend you, but I can't because I have to finish swaying this freaking guy. Oh, well. We'll worry about that later. This is coming along. Probably going to take a little bit. Oh! Oh! Apparently I can raid. Oh boy. Well, that's that is a that is a big that is a big something. Well, we are going to be the great people of Troy raiding it up. I don't need to worry about doing this anymore. I think I may befriend him if I can. I'll befriend you and then maybe I'll find a concubine. What are you? How are you? You're pretty good. I mean, we'll raid their main city. Oh, and they're going to hit us with a little battle. Maybe we'll get a, a nice little countered by opponent's bowman. Easy. Nice dub. Looks like we took the money already. Oh, now it's not letting me take their money for some reason. I always had this problem. I don't think that's supposed to happen, but let's see. Bandits are running rampant in this area, so I'm going to have them work on that. It says we'll win. I'm not too worried about it. I have a powerful vassal. I have a hostage that I could demand. I'm not going to even worry about it. He's my homie now, so me and this uh, petty king are now friends. Could I offer you vassalage? 30%, 30, minus 30, you would say no. That's really interesting. What about you? I'll try and befriend you. Maybe that'll help me with your odds. I doubt it, but... I'm working on my legitimacy, it's below, is it below expected level? I wonder if I should hold court. See, I'm not a high king, so I don't even need to hold court. My, is that my son? 
Damn, boy, you are ugly. Good God. Uh, you're good. I'll take you. See it done. Thank you. All right, so we now have a claim on their territory, but the problem is that's a, that's a bit of a ways from now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have him start working over here on... Actually, capture this first. Fabricate claim on that county. I'm going to have you start working on this. I'm going to maybe try... Redouble my efforts. Maybe try and expand a little bit. All right, so now I'm friends with them too. And they would not accept, I don't think. So this guy's my friend. And it won't let me do anything. And we're just gonna drop that down. All right, over taxation, nice. Although not actually nice, but um, I'm gonna increase development in Wallion. And I'll have him finish that. Have you do that. I think everything looks right so far. I'm gonna have the troops recover. We're at 1822, we're doing good. I'm, this is gonna be a very different style than I normally do. The betrothed can marry. That'll secure me that alliance, which is really good. A stewardship perk, which I would like to do, honestly. Let's do tax, man. Get a little bit extra taxes. Wait a minute. Do I have a claim on your stuff now? Dog, that's crazy. I don't even remember that popping up. <laughs> it didn't. It just straight up, I think we just bugged it. All right, how old am I? I'm 34, 35. Okay. I can take his capital, but that would be it. I only have 5,000 troops. Hmm, that would be quite a, that'd be quite a battle. Um, I'd rather avoid that. Only six. Hmm, I could challenge him to a board game. Uh, I'd love to play another game with you sometime. He thinks that was pretty good. I could maybe offer you vassalage, and he would accept that low feudal obligations. So we have just expanded our territory once again without dropping a single bit of blood, baby. Excellent. And then hold on now. We gotta defend the realm. They have some loot, which we are gonna take post haste. And I will take those pockets. Give me them. Thank you. Thank you for the loot. I appreciate you. I have a powerful vassal, this guy, who is actually an excellent spy master. So I'm going to slap. Well, do I want to do there? Yeah, no, you, you look good there. You look really good there. He's my homie. He's my friend. So I don't got to worry about that too much. This guy would probably also be my friend. So, well, actually, should I do you or should I do you? Let's work on trying to befriend you. And then I might be able to get it. Because if I can, let's see here. Do I have a, get out of here. Do I have... So now I have this territory again without dropping a single drop of blood, which is de jure part of this kingdom. I own two of these territories, technically speaking. I couldn't declare a war on him for that, so I won't. Um, I could raid, but again, I don't want to just yet, so I'm going to wait. I'm working on befriending them. I'm working on fixing that, and I'm just working on just developing, really. Just trying to chill and make sure we get our development nice and high. My, and this is my grandson. I would definitely like him to be trained in the ways of war as well. I will be your ward. And do we have any, no alliances yet because he's too far down the line. And we're kind of insignificant. I mean, realistically in the grand scheme of things over here. I do think this guy's got a lot of nice uh, stuff to come into. So I'm going to raise up some raiders. Actually, you know what? He might, he might be running a little dry, but uh, well, we'll take some stuff. We'll run what pockets they got. I think, honestly, too, might be might be good to come over this way. Yeah, we could definitely do that and then return home. We could do that for sure. If I can take this and this, I could definitely make, I could probably end up making the High Kingdom with very little war, if any. Ideally, I'd like to do as little as possible. I've never really tried to do that, so. Trying to do this diplomatically as possible. This guy, I wonder, it, it, I don't get an option to, um, let's see, this guy offer vassalage. I bet you if he was my friend, he would let me. I really gotta get that befriend. I made a new friend, nice. All right, so this guy's now my friend. I wonder if he would take it. Hmm, I can't challenge him to a board game, but I can work on swaying him a little bit more. He would probably end up being my friend once I swayed him. Or not friend, but you know what I mean. He'd probably get a little bit more and he would let me uh, vassalize him. And then once we have both of those, strange noise, it's gonna be a birthday. Oh, I gained 30 opinion of every friend. I'll take the biggest one. I became owner of a horn. Oh my God, you guys stop giving me all these horny, these horny gifts, I'm selling it. I'm selling the horny gift. And now 
Thank you. I know it's just low obligations, but... Ooh. Well, no, I actually don't need a claim on both of them. I think I only need to do um, that one. So I can befriend you next. I don't need to sway that guy anymore. And that might be able to, I might be able to draw them in then. Be able to draw them in. And I could probably make a second kingdom now. Yeah, I think so. I can create the kingdom, these two kingdoms, which are de jure part of this. And I only need to have one more province to make them. And I would only need two kingdoms. So I think that is going, that is actually going to be my goal. And we will actually be able to do that without really having to go to war at all, which is really cool. I'm just going to take, I'm just going to take your corner. I'm only going to try and take one piece of land. I don't want to be too greedy here. All right. So they're fleeing. I might be able to catch him. Yeah, they are going to catch him at the battle of Amea or of Amei. Amea? I don't know how you would say that. Nice, good, good dub. And then with this win, it might honestly be enough. No, you also wouldn't let me make you into a vassal, which is interesting. And we captured him. I'm also gonna finish this. I kinda wanna ransom this guy for the extra money. Yeah, and it's already, uh, it's only at 98%, so I could probably literally just wait two seconds, cause I think I, oh, I don't even have war score actually. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. I won't even waste the turn. I can create that high kingdom now and I can station men at arms here as well. So I'm going to do that. And I need to raid now to make more money. This guy will not actually let me do anything for him. So he has this, that petty king wants that. He's actually got quite a lot of troops, which is interesting. Um, this guy, I could offer them vassalage. So I'm going to work on befriending you. Um, I have a lot of friends already. This guy, I still can't offer him vassalage. So I probably will end up having to just take his land again. I think what I'll do then, defensive measures, I think that makes a lot of sense as um, as Willi Willian. The Willians. Are your garrisons restocked now? Because I would love to run those pockets, kid. I would love to run those pockets. They're not. However, this guy is. And there's a lot to the south that looks like it is ripe for the picking. So that is where I'm gonna go, because I need some money. I catch, I caught the legendary white carp and I got 200 prestige. What I'd like to do, once I become a high king, I'd like to throw a feast as well. Oh, well, there you go. I'm now friends with this guy. Nice. My, my uh, concubine and my <laughs> actual wife are now closer, which is, I guess, what you want. Remember all the good times. Remember all the good times, my man, I know where. I know you're all worried because I've been vassalizing everybody around me and you're probably thinking to yourself This man's going to try and conquer me and now while that is true That is true. I want you to know that it's not personal. We're making money. We're doing fine It's only been six years. The dream has not come into my brain I mean, it's coming every day, of course, right? Like it happens every day, but Capture somebody you gotta capture somebody I also noticed this man does not go to battle. Like he's not in, I, I should not have put him in, in battle garb like whatsoever. Can I change this now? It cost me 500. I should not have picked the God of Fertility. I regret it every day. All right, I need to make at least like 200 so that I can make that high kingdom. Or the second kingdom. I don't know how much a high kingdom would cost. I'm actually curious. Let's see. So if I wanted to make the high kingdom, that's 500 gold. God bless America. Uh, I should have done this one. He was already that. I should have just done it. Let's go. Whoa. Oh man, my homie, dude. Hell yeah. Me and this guy are best homies now. Dude, sick. Love you, brother. We went to the we went to the pool. We had a little drinky poos. We were kissing. Oh jeez, I'm gonna back out. Oh thanks, dude. Where did you get forty gold? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't want to know where you got it. I'm glad you got it. Thank you for that. All right, keep on raiding. Actually, we're gonna come back with quite a pretty, quite a pretty stack up here. Oh, we actually captured somebody's kid too. Ooh, baby. I should. I could have swore I had the uh, harm events turned off. So if this guy becomes incompetent, oh, he's melancholic. Uh, you know what? That actually kind of fits his character because he's worried 
about the, um, I'm gonna seek the aid of the spirits. Or wait, no, I'm gonna, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I need to get a little bit more piety. All right. And then I'm gonna create this kingdom. Second kingdom, kingdom of Dardanus, which will give me some legitimacy and also some, um, some other stuff. I can create this, which will cost me 500, which is kind of crazy. A lot of money to be had up here. Purchase a truce. You know what? I will take that. I will take that all day because that's actually a really solid amount of cash. And I'll take those 100 casualties and I will make my way up here. Because there's a lot to be had up on the north of the map. I want to be as wealthy as humanly possible. That's my goal. I want to be like comically wealthy. He's not going to attack me. I know he's not. Look at him. Absolute baby. Can't do it. You know what I want? I want this mod to get the Crusader Wars treatment. I would like to be able to play Crusader Wars in the Bronze Age. Like with uh, Total Rome Pharaoh. That would be sick. That would be sick. Oh, I do have somebody I can ransom. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, this is going a lot better than I expected it would, honestly. Um, I'm kind of worried. I'm a little worried about his health. But he has enough he has enough to where I can fix this. So I'm gonna determine his personal deity. Yeah, give me the give me the, the health god. And then uh, once I get my next one and I get War Prophets here, I'm probably gonna have to switch. Because he's gonna get infirm otherwise, and that it's way too early for me to get that. War Prophets here. Alright, let's do medicine focus. Just to get a little bit of a boost. Feeling fine is good. Alright, nice. I don't actually think I'm gonna have to go to raid anymore. I'll be able to make that title very soon. Now I have a nice alliance. Beautiful. All right, good. Good, 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 good. I don't actually care about medicine, obviously. But uh, I'm in a meta game here a little bit just to avoid dying early. Because we've come this far already, and that would really suck if I had to die. Try to raid me, dog? Do you have any money? We're well, about to be my money. Get out of here, scum. Absolute freaking trash, dog. Get out of my lobby. Get some L's in the chat. All right, well, we can create the High Kingdom of Willian. First goal is over. The Wolusian Court, or Wolusian? I don't know how you would say that. Let them see their High King. You know what? I actually expected this to be a little bit more um, grandiose. I don't know, but whatever. I can vassalize. Ooh, and we can vassalize this guy. Look at this, dude. Oh my god, dude. Look at my forces have grown exponentially. Now he is a... I mean, he's pretty fine. He'd honestly be a fine spy master. He's also my friend, so everybody's my homie. This guy... I can kind of just declare war on both of them if I really want to. I'm just going to declare war on both of them, and I'm going to secure the last of my kingdom. Yeah, I'm going to kill him. Sorry, I can't have more than one, more than two sons. That's what the visions told me. The visions told me I had to have just the two. What do I lose on succession, actually? Only the one. Uh, we would just lose this kingdom. He gains the high kingdom and this kingdom. He would stay as a vassal, which is solid. All right, I'm gonna make him reclusive. God, this man is literally Let's seclude him again. All right, he's no longer overwhelmed by stress, so now he shouldn't be. So he's he's still he's still having some some uh, some bad times, but we just finished this war. I could enforce him get divorced because they're about to lose their power anyway. I'm gonna do it. I have to I have to secure the future of our realm. Oh god, who's this? Way too far over there. Way too far over there. Okay, we need somebody a little bit closer. The Achaeans? Ooh. Ooh, are the Achaeans? I don't know how you would say this, but that's actually really good. He'd lose a little prestige, but they're like right there. That's perfect, because that's that sets up like excellently with where we're going to be going. White piece? Nah, dude. You're the last piece of my glorious puzzle here. And I feel better, the war is over. Maybe he was just stressed. Maybe like the war made him so, he was sick, right? He was like, oh my God. Cardian, my prisoner. Oh, the whispers told me that you're my concubine now. Oh my God, I'm gonna befriend you. 
That's crazy. That's what you get, I guess, for not, um... Oh my god. That's so wild. Hold on a minute. Is there... Can you change your primary spouse or no? Should be able to... Oh, we can create a new men-at-arms regiment. That's good. So light skirmishers are these guys. Spearmen counter any cav. I feel like the next one would be spearmen. Uh, I don't know if this guy's gonna be able to really survive long enough to fulfill his dream. However, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. So now that we've done that, I think maybe what we could do is do a feast, perhaps? Let's see what we can do. A feast in our capital city. Pretty cheap, pretty cheap. Um, I don't have to go anywhere. We're gonna do it for recreation. And we'll try and make it a little bit nicer. Yeah, it's just a like a fine. Since I took this guy's wife, I'll uh, I'll make him the honored guest, just so he's not as mad about it. And yeah, let's just do a little feast. Everybody's running around the hall. We have a lovely time ahead of us. This is in celebration of us creating this high kingdom. But we definitely need to. Um, maybe if I took Athens, that could be huge for me. I need to. I need to establish a a, a beachhead now. All right, the mood is bright. We're, we're beginning the feast. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself in deep conversation with my unrestrained guest, this guy. Um, I could not care about this. I don't give it any fucks about what this man is saying. Oh, I just lost a ton of stress thanks to that. I did everything I could, ensuring that these two would be as far from each other as possible was not enough. Now that I've come to blows in the middle of my feast. Let's toast to this homie. The homies. Oh, look at him. Look at him toasting. Hell yeah, dude. Well, we had a nice little feast. We got Eager Reveler, I think. Oh man, he's... Look at him. Look at how happy he is. See, that was worth it. Hell yeah, dude. Alright. See it done. Nice. And I'm actually going to just press that. Like right now. Um. Because I need to start making some big money moves. And I'm going to call in you. And I'm going to call in you. I've not actually gone to war across the sea before on this playthrough. So this is, uh, this is a big one. I'm going to land. Uh, probably. No, well, I'm just gonna sail out, and then we'll see how we feel. All right, there we go. So I brought in a huge force, absolutely decimating Athens now. Beautiful early dub. Um, it's only gonna take four months to take Fort Athene, or Athenai. This guy will not take no for an answer. They are just coming for him, dude. Uh oh. Oh, he's going bald. Oh, his glorious hair. I set the capital again. Where is this one? We were doing really fine. Oh, it's like way over there. Yeah, it's fine. Is she set to... She's still set to that. Very odd. Alright, this should end it. Oh, wait. Did we capture somebody? Oh, dude. Hell yeah. Let me, um... Let me ransom y'all off. Early prevention success was good, baby. There we go. That's what we'd like to see. So how, where is it? Oh, it's definitely over here. So I have isolated the capital. Hopefully, what is it? It's smallpox. Not good. Hopefully I don't get that because I'll definitely die if that's the case. All right. So now I have Athens as one of my titles. And that should be pretty solid, actually. New state building. Ooh, we haven't had to do this yet, so we're gonna definitely start working on, um... Oh my god. Well, he's gonna die. Well, at least he made... At least he made it this far, but he's definitely not gonna make it any further than this. And I think that's probably gonna get lost on succession. No, actually. That is, uh, very interesting. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised by that. Hmm... I think I'm... I, I kinda... Oh, that's a, that's a tempter. This guy doesn't know. I want him to be like, son, son, like to his son. He's like, son, it's up to you now. You must, you must destroy them before they destroy us. I think I'm going to have to do it. I think I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't care. I don't care. 
And we'll raise all of them here. And we'll fight these guys. So this guy lost some fame and he died, but I can continue the war. See, there you go, it doesn't even matter. Um, this guy's got negative prestige. He died from smallpox. He was tormented, poor guy. A petty and spiteful man, his vassals need to tread carefully around him. Oh my god, and his wife died? Jesus. I'm the new dynasty head. I definitely need somebody with like a good alliance. Ooh. That's very tempting, although these people are much better, and that's like a really solid alliance. That would be really good. I'd like to think he would still do it. He's vengeful. Maybe he thinks that um, in his like stupid, he's got like a tiny, tiny peanut brain, right? Really small. And he thinks, um, he's definitely authority focused. Look at him, he's terrible in like every regard. And I'll have him work on that. Oh, his name's the Lionheart? That's actually sick, dude. Hell yeah. All right, let's actually start attacking them now. Are you serious? Am I, is it gonna switch now to him? This man doesn't even have an alliance yet. I'm gonna secure the bag while I still have a chance. My core physician died. Jesus, dude, no. I don't think this guy's gonna make it. Oh my god, no way. Dude, he lost smallpox. Okay, well now he's the G, I don't even care. I'm just gonna beat him in battle just to see if we can capture anybody. Yeah, beautiful. We'll ransom him real fast. No expense in the rebuild, and then we will take this and disband. And I could create the High Kingdom of Attica, or I can usurp this. Interesting, should I raid? I'm above my domain limit by one. Oh man, there's some really good troop numbers chilling here if I keep this. Yeah, I could take that. Cause if I did, well, well if it was like, what a Holy War for the High Kingdom, it'd be all of that. But you'd have to do like a pilgrimage. Which we could probably do one. We'll do a pious pilgrimage. Damn, our holy sites are really, really far. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a go. A whirl, if you will. Found a derelict ship. And I found a gem. Which I'm gonna just sell for money. So now I'm no longer suffering. Nice. Walking around the ship on our journey to Milwaukee, I spot a fellow pilgrim. Um, she's she's got she's a little sick. <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is this? Holy shit, who is this? However, if I win this, what would he have to pay me? Zero? He would only have to pay me nothing? I think it's mostly special soldiers. I wonder what their soldiers are. I've walked the holy path. Terrible time for me to not be with my people. A horde of disjointed pirates, landless freemen, desperate lesser children, and other associated miscreants have joined this man. I see it. 8,000. We'll banish them the old fashioned way. Raise all. This guy wants to be a celibate? He wants to be a monk? Don't we have temples back home? I love that. Do we not have temples at home? I, I own a statue now. Is it, is it for this? Is it for core artifacts? Dude, hell yeah. Nice, dude. Oh, it looks... Oh, it actually looks like a statue, like an actual one. What are his troops? I just want to see them. It looks like they're not special. Looks like they're just levies. If it would stay. Oh, dude, a easy win. Easy win. We beat back the Barbarian Horde. That was actually really easy. So they lose... 500 gold? Really? I can usurp Tolly in Athens. It would require me to get that much gold, which was what I was trying to do when we started. Um, This one looks like it's worth the least. Oh, it has a quarry. Never mind. No, it isn't. This one is probably worth the least. We'll grant this to somebody with some of all skills who's pretty relevant. This guy can take it. You like stuff. What's wrong with you? Why don't you like me? Oh, he's intimidated by me. We're just gonna keep on collecting our money. We're gonna get our cash reserves up high, and I think she, yeah, he used to be really soon, really close. Oh, we never selected a deity. 
Let's determine a personal deity. T1 looks like they'd probably be the best one overall. Because you get piety bonus, you get prestige bonus, and you get renown bonus. What does he give? Just piety and prestige, and they're not even as good. This one you get a health boost and piety and prestige. This one you get a fertility boost and piety and prestige. Golza? Let's do Golza. Get more taxes. I'm working my way back up, replenishing my troops. Got two titles that can be created. The Kingdom of Athens, for sure. Give me that sweet, sweet title. My brother wants to be a seat on the council. I don't know where I would possibly put you. Um, there's nowhere. And I could also create the High Kingdom of Athens, which I believe... If I were to do that... Oh, High Kingdom of Attica. That's what it would be. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so on succession, I'm pretty sure I would lose Athens. Yeah, I would go to him. So we definitely need to do something here. Because it would go to him, and he would stay over there. Hmm, do I want to do this for money? I want to do that. He's a little sick. If he were to die... You're my ally, aren't you? Oh, you're not. Oh, but my allies are all around you. That could be a good one. So if I win this holy war, that could be huge. Let's just replenish some troops here for a minute. And I'm already, is he, isn't he like almost 40? Yeah, he's, he's, gotta, he's gotta make some moves. This guy's an unimportant courtier. All right, well, we're gonna enforce our demands. And I have now taken more land I can convert to a palatial government. It is fine to adopt a new form of government with a centralized bureaucracy based on the palace in our capital. Palatial governments are the peak of civilization where ultimately all society can be administered and controlled from the many palaces found in all the important cities. Even the religious and cultural activity can be centralized for total control of society as a whole. We have a, what is it? Urban? Urbanism first developed in the Fertile Crescent of the Near East after farming had revolutionized people's ways of life, allowing permanent settlements and the development of bigger and bigger villages. Uh, by the second and even third millennium BC, urbanism had long been a factor in the Near East and had come far with massive confederations of cities with potentially tens of thousands of people each. An urban society is generally dominated by a city elite. Oh, so it's like an urban society, one based on mainly one city, whereas palatial government is more like many cities. Yeah, let's do that. Let's adopt a palatial government. Oh, please, thank you. I have kings as my vassals. This guy's literally a king of kings. It's pretty cool. I think I will do another pilgrimage now. So I'm, I'm just going through a war zone on my little pilgrimage. That's crazy. Look at him go. He's just like, yeah, I'm going. It's a war. I did not expect this man to become pious, but maybe because he's so gregarious, he's accidentally religious. He just likes the idea of it. All right, so now I'm a devoted servant. And we're very close to Paragon of Virtue, and I might, I might just be able to do it. I might just be able to do the Holy War for the High Kingdom, which is exactly what I would like to do. So he's a traveling, experienced pilgrim, which gives you quite a lot every month in terms of that. All right, so we're making 12 gold a turn now. I'm only 40. The average age has to not be too old now. We're gonna need to do another pilgrimage not too long from now, but I don't know when I can do one. Oh, I can do another one, like, instantly. I can do this one. But it has to be... Uh, we could do that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll we'll do that one, and that should get us really close to Paragon of Virtue. Because I think it's, yeah, it's 2,000. Yeah. He just really likes it. He's just, he's a fan. And then it would all go to the one. Beautiful. So now I just have the one air. So if, every, if anything does happen to me, it'll just go to him. And he is also telling his son the, the dreams of now his grandfather that they would come for our people one day and that we must destroy the Mycenaeans who have no idea that I don't like them. They have no idea. They don't, they don't. I am just over here plotting against them evilly like some sort of villain and they don't know why. They don't even know that I'm doing it. I'm just over here like, he, he, he. me and my trusted axe. Oh, he's, he's an expert in the axe. Has this man even fought in a war? I don't think I've ever sent him. So this guy's a weeb for our culture. Um, thank you. Let's go on this really expensive pilgrimage. No threats. Yeah. And then we'll gain that money back like right away. Gonna go on another pilgrimage. 
I'm gonna contemplate old empires this time. We're gonna be late, apparently. It's not like it really matters. It's not an event. You're just going on a pilgrimage. Oh, we're in Tarhuntasa, which I'm assuming is named after the god, who is like our main deity, the main deity of the Walusian faith, it seems, or Walusian culture, because we're Luwian. Luwian? Influenced by the many groups that call Anatolia their home, the Luwians have developed a unique religious tradition centered on ancient rituals and practices to heal the sick, affect the weather, and curse the wicked. While local regions may, may emphasize uh, greater deities, all acknowledge the supremeness of Tarhuns, the chariot-riding storm god. Dude, that's fucking metal. Other popular gods include the sun god Tuwad and Kam uh, Kamrusipa, the goddess of magic and medicine. That's awesome. We just have to get... Enough to take over that kingdom. I could just take their kingdom, the center one. It just doesn't feel... It doesn't feel the same. This guy would also join him, and that's huge. Mm, 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 mm. Is that his ally? Dude, that's a lot. Nice. Pilgrimage, the return. We have returned home from our pilgrimage. And what does he have now for pilgrim? Does he have the max rank? He does. So he gets four per turn. Nice. How old am I now? He's 46. I think he's going to be the one to finish it up for us. For sure. He's at 4,500 troops. We started off with just a, with a, a small kingdom, tiny kingdom, just the kingdom that holds the city of Troy, or the walls of Troy, rather, which makes five gold a turn. Jesus. I'm up to 17. Interesting, boars. That's cool. Nice. Um, not going to do that, though. Time is of the essence. He's definitely inferior. Oh yeah. Let's do our last, not feast, pilgrimage. Pious pilgrimage to this place because we have not gone. And we're gonna do that. Boom. <gasps> what? How did he die? Oh my God, he died from stress. What does Hashish give you? Low stewardship, low learning. He's already got no stewardship, so I guess we'll just make him a pothead. Dang, I can't believe it. Well, now I regret uh, disinheriting him. Can I re-inherit you? <laughs> I suppose it doesn't work like that. So you have to take the C for most of this? That's interesting. So my grandson. Interesting. And I hear, I thought he was going to die like right at the beginning and it was going to be his son. Oh. Well, I got rid of my hashish addiction already. But at what cost? Oh, did we get it? Oh, sick, dude. We got Paragon of Virtue. Absolutely gorgeous. Finish the pilgrimage, and then when I return home, I will inform them that it is time for the Great Holy War to take my keen, as my, as my father told me to do many years ago. So I'm going to increase you by this. I'm going to increase you to five. Yeah, that looks fine. Get a little extra troops in here. All right, so after various pilgrimages, after various conquests, I've taken over all of this stuff. It is now time for the war to end all. Well, not to end all. I mean, there's going to be many more wars in the future, but the war to secure the fact that they will never come for Troy ever. Oh my God, Crete is freaking enormous. Good Lord, look how strong they are. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just attack them. I'm gonna try and call in as many allies as I can, and I'm gonna do this holy war post haste. I think the one thing I do want to do because I, I'm remembering right now that I'm thinking of this, they have a lot of these boar tusk dudes, so I'm probably going to need to max out my men at arms here and get that up to like 500. Maybe even do that twice. 93 percent. That's really good. And she's dead, so that alliance should be broken. Yep, and now this is, how is this? Allied to high chief this. You're allied to them, huh? Well, shame. Shame that I'm gonna have to murder both of your allies. Yeah, it's up there, it's Typhus. Definitely want to avoid that as much as possible. And new Marshall Park, now I can get Overseer. I didn't mess it up too bad. And now that I have all of these, I think I'm actually going to give him a slight health boost. Because he's old, and I do not want him to die, so I'm going to give him a medicine focus. Just, just, for the, just for the slight boost. Just for the slight little boost. Let's see if he dies. He did! Wow! Yeah, I love it when things work out. So now, Mycene has... Oh my god, wait a minute. 
He's got the, he's got a lot of boar tusks. Hmm. Am I strong enough to take them on is the question. I can only keep murdering people so much. This one says it's going to be 95 in 12 months. All right, I will attack him as soon as that's over. He's got a lot of kids. That's the problem. Oh, wait, they're fighting a war against him. Since he's doing that, I believe it is time for me to do this. I'm going to call in as many of my allies as I can, which I think is all of them. And then I'll raise all of my troops. There we go, now everybody's coming. Yeah, don't do that. All right, hit him up. Nice. Is he leading the battle? Oh, he is. I mean, I don't do that. I'm impressive. Impressive Mycenaeans. I gotta give you props. I respect the gumption. I ain't gonna do it, but you know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get in there. All right, good. Chew. Whew. Dude, hell yeah. All right, yeah, let's just take this. And then we'll leave whenever we're done. I have four prisoners that can be ransomed. They have some really solid prisoners. I'm just gonna take some of your money. Okay, so he's, I mean, we've kind of beaten him back pretty badly. How many troops do we? So we still don't even have battle score. We're pretty close to getting war score. Uh, she's getting the trade pregnant, only four months. That'll probably push me to Positive edge. I have two powerful vassals that want seats on the council. A lot of titles that could be created if I were to. Oh. Oh my god, dude. That's nuts. I can't afford to have all these people losing. Alright, so I took the holy... I took this entire high kingdom. For myself. And that'll put me around 7,000 troops. Oh boy, Jesus. I can ransom this petty queen. I can ransom this person. I have... 13 more lands than I need. Wow. I just got a cat. And I'm going to name it Troy for a fitting finish. And I'm actually going to um, do what I should have done forever ago. My father told me a name that he was whispered to him in his sleep. And there you have it, everybody. Through blood, sweat, tears, effort, and almost two generations, the legend of Troy has begun. We have destroyed the Mycenaean threat. Um, I would like to assume that he would in his later years or perhaps his heirs would continue to eradicate them um, because of these visions. Probably not the best pretense for war uh, because the gods told me to is usually not a good thing. So I've just done a little Uno reverse here basically and have just uh, prevented the Trojan War from ever happening. And, uh, you know, that I, I feel pretty good about it. So I hope you like this video. I had a lot of fun making this one and putting it together. And I had a lot of fun figuring this one out because at first I wasn't sure how I was actually going to be able to do this. And it uh, turned out pretty good in the end. But that's going to be it for me. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you want to. And as always, I'm Sol. This has been our first and probably not our last Bronze Age video. And I will happily see you in the next one.